Hey guys, so let's do our red bubble research and uh, this is the second part and we are going to go through the list. Next is National Moth Week. Now Moth Week, I think as we can basically understand from the niche itself, it has a demand for a particular time because it's something related to Moth Week, right? So it's not going to be year around. There are 41 results here. Let's see. And uh, we, let's just select best selling. And uh, let's do one more thing. Let's search for the moth we here too. So we can basically see. Okay, so the pages are loading. Uh, okay, so this is National Moth Week. National Moth Week is a worldwide citizen science project to study and record population of moths. Okay. Alrighty. Let's just check out National Moth Week here. What kind of designs do you have? 41 designs. This is the best selling one. So best selling one is... So he basically took the whole banner and put it here. So I hope he has taken the permission from the people who actually created this or this one like you can do something like this and it is top three in the best selling so it's pretty good and this looks pretty nice too so you should you should do something like this so let's just check out the tags from the best one basically the number one and uh, let's see twenty dollar ten cents the basic price for its t-shirt so design is not Design is nothing extraordinary. It's like you can create this design without really. So let's see. Okay. Mm. It's loading. This one looks nice. This is not necessarily a design. It looks, I mean, it is not a moth. I mean, I don't know if it looks like a moth. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Mm, okay. So, this person is basically created Friends SEBC. This person has only created 14 designs. And uh, this person joined in April 2015. And one thing I've realized about Redbubble, and uh, I just want to go, like look, look at this. This is not even scaled properly. So, anyways, one thing I've realized about Redbubble: the older your account, the more chance you have to rank. It's just something I know from experience. It's like, so if your account is new, if you are new to Redbubble, and you are not getting sales, don't get disappointed. Just keep creating designs and. Uh, just leave your account as is eventually your account will become older and start ranking for some more keywords and it's easier to rank with old accounts so anyways so this is the one let's just check out the tags now so the tag is national moth week moth moths butterfly butterflies lepidoptera uh, nature science citizen science insects work summer mothing so okay this is Pretty simple niche, 41 results, so you should go for it. And uh, let's let's just go for the next one. Nick, I, I can't even pronounce the name. So let's just see. Castellanos, okay, let's see. Okay, so 106 designs. Oh, oh, something related to baseball. Yeah, you never do that. Uh, even if it is trending, stay away from these. Baseball, NFL, or something that is extremely mainstream. Just these these designs are not going to stay here for long. It's just, I don't know how they are here. There's just a lot of copyright infringement. So anyways, just go for the next one. TNO. Hmm. 
so what is TNO let's just do one thing let's check out the best seller in this keyword 57 results TNO creatives are the new athletes hmm interesting let's see let's just switch these I'm gonna just close those tabs let's see creatives are the new athletes extremely simple design not even design just some text on blank paper let's see why are people liking this thing so much let's see if it's the text creative spiral notebook creative spiral notebook athlete spiral notebook athletic spiral notebook hmm call it spiral notebook museum spiral notebook so he basically this this is somewhat of a how do you say that it's tax spamming it's kind of tax spammy tno so i don't understand why it's called tno so let's just search on google if we can find something which i kind of doubt netherland organization for applied science scientific research hmm I don't think so it's related to that but uh, it is what it is just just take the text and put some designs make it this just it's extremely simple so actually show some creativity I don't know what it is it's just show some, show some creativity you can create better design than this I'm pretty sure so this like look at this TNO and these are pretty nice these these designs looks nice so okay so it's fairly simple to understand tno 57 results just go for this keyword and uh, let's go to the next one gucci let's go for the gucci keyword oh no no search for gucci it's loading Hmm. So these are basically Gucci designs. How many are there? 92 designs. Gucci versus everybody. Gucci. Gucci. Gucci mask. Gucci. So let's see which one is the highest selling. This one is the highest selling. So these two basically copied each other. Top two are basically copies of each other. Something related to Donald Trump from what I can see. I mean not this this particular design. This particular design. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So this is particularly, let's just check out the first one. Let's see. This is barely visible. I don't know how this thing is number one. Like why people are liking this so much. Like, I mean, what do we know is this people's choice. But it's kind of, I mean, I don't know that. Maybe you guys do. Just put it in the comment section if you know why people are liking this design. Because I don't. I would never buy something with them. For 20, 2094, it's, it's not even like on the cheaper side. So, anyways. So, the account name is Gucci Gang. Interesting. Very interesting. So, the whole account is based on this? No. What? July 2019. So joining is not really very new. We have fairly old account. So let's just check out this design then. Okay, so this is the same design. So let's shut this one down. Let's check out the tags then. Because it's kind of interesting. The account name is Gucci Gang. Gucci title. I mean the, the header image is Gucci. 
only one design and the one design is actually in the number one search so it's kind of interesting let's see kind of interesting stuff it's loading okay so the product tag is fake gucci gucci funny funny gucci fake gucci okay it just makes sense gucci okay interesting as i said like guys the older your account the more you have chance to rank with this kind of crappy design and i'm going to be upfront this is a crappy design you can barely read read gucci here it's like you want to ride gucci is not even enough on anything very extraordinary it is made by ms paint or something some brushing tool like look at this it's handwritten i mean but it's not not very impressive but anyways this is ranking the account name is gucci gang very suspicious account very suspicious account so anyways let's just go to the next niche mm let's go to the next niche this leo p this is the last niche of this video so mm what's going on okay so leo p let's see Okay, so this is Leo P. Forty-three results. So let's search for Leo P. What is this? Leonardo DiCaprio posters. Hmm. Yeah, copyright infringement. Leo P. Copyright infringement. It's someone's name. Now I don't know if he got his name trademarked or not, but I mean not necessarily. If you just like this one. without this permission i don't know if you can do that i'm pretty sure you can but uh, let's just check out the top selling one so this one okay this one is pretty sure it's not in public domain if it is then that's good but if it's not then yeah no chance for this so these are posters posters created by the same person so let's just check out the top I'm selling one. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stuff. Just like and comment. Just because my subscribers are not increasing very quickly, which is okay. It's just I want you guys to subscribe because that thing helps me to get motivated to create more videos. And okay, so this page is let's just talk about the niche first. Okay, so hmm. Interesting, hundred and nineteen bucks, not cheap at all. Okay, this is some image, and uh, lucky charms, lucky lucky charms, too many zoos. These are the tags. So my recommendation is, whenever it comes to people, if they are not really, really, really old people, like the people who you know, their copyright. must be expired or something is you know these are these is fairly new people like this guy is what 29 something like that yeah 29 years old yeah i think if he is that famous most of his stuff will be copyrighted so stay away from this niche it will cause some problems for you even using his name in the tag can cause problems i mean i mean the red bubble most of the time red bubble let it slide for using names in the tags but uh, because but your account what your you know your design will be on hold and they will check your design if it's not copywriting infringement you know something some causing some issue to the copyright owner so anyways that's all there is to it i guess for this niche too you checked everything 43 designs so you should jump on niches that you like so some of the niches i like is national moth week this gucci niche and this tno niche is good too these two my recommendation is this one is abs absolutely bad this nick nick niche this is no nah, just this something related to baseball niche stay away from it leo p is good i mean not necessarily good good no nah, i think it's not good too so it's just stay away from that this niche too so go for national moth week tno and gucci and i think uh, Yeah that's all the tips I got for you guys and that's all the niches I got for this video
and uh, again don't forget to like subscribe your subscription your like means a lot and uh, they help me you know really they motivate me and help me to make more better videos and uh, comment if you want me to create videos about some specific topic i will do some more keyword research for you guys and uh, give this basically i will leave all these keywords in the pin comment and uh, you can basically copy and uh, start creating designs so thanks for watching thank you